Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Before we get into it though, we got a real quick announcement about this upcoming intergroom. It'll be taking place at the Meadowlands Expo Center Saturday, April 2nd. We'll be doing a meet and greet with Go Groomers Amy Lee and Jess Adorno from Paparazzi Pets. You can get all the information you need by going to intergroom.com. Again, we'll be there Saturday, April 2nd, so we're really, really excited to see you guys. So any of our subscribers out there, please, if you're in the area, stop by and say hi to us. With no further ado, Let's get into this video. Okay guys, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about some of the challenges and difficulties working on our darker coated breeds. In particular, black poodles, they're a huge challenge. We're doing a lot of clipper work on them. So we have Pepsi here on the table with us today. She's gonna to help us demonstrate some of the more difficult areas to do on a dog. So one of the hot spots on a poodle is definitely their face and neck area. You want to be really, really careful in this area, guys, because there's a lot of loose skin. You can see all this loose skin here that's easily, easily caught with a clipper or a scissor. So I'm going to show you how to be very, very cautious so that we're not nicking the dog. One thing you don't want to do is come at the dog straight on. You want to separate that skin, as you can see, and then have that 10 blade or 15 blade be very, very flush and never on an angle that's going to catch or grab a piece of skin. You never want to use a skip tooth blade in this area, such as a seven or a five blade. You only want to stick with a 10 blade or a 15 blade. This is 10 blade or 15 blade area all the time. Here you can see that skin from underneath. And again, I'm just spreading the skin to show you how to create a nice flush clip down the skin. Now we're using a metal snap-on comb. This is an Andis snap-on comb. You want to be very, very careful even when using a snap-on comb. The skin can get caught in between the slots of the snap-on comb and snag. And if you're in motion, you can grab that skin and also nick them very badly. Again, we're just spreading that skin and making sure that that snap-on comb is very, very flush so that we're not grabbing any skin. This is a very, very common area that gets nicked a lot if you're not careful. So here we are in the armpit area. Again, it's very, very difficult to see what you're cutting or where you're cutting. So you can see the skin here. So you also want to be extremely careful in this area. Again, we're just using a 10 blade on this, guys. No skip tooth blade here. Very, very dangerous. Again, this is just an area where you can easily, easily nick or cut a dog. Okay, now we're moving to her rear here, guys. We're gonna be clipping around her little private, her little vulva area. So I'm really feeling around here. I really wanna locate and be very, very precise in this area, guys. This is the last place you wanna nick a dog. So I'm gonna come from side to side on it. Again, guys, a 10 blade only. So again, we want to be very, very careful. We want to locate where it is. So we're just kind of spreading and getting a visual on it so that we know where it is. It's so difficult to see on these dark breeds. You literally cannot see much of anything. And you want to follow that scooping motion that I'm showing you with my finger. You just want to do that with the clippers. So we're really just scooping this area out. Okay, so on to the next challenge area. We have this flap of skin right in the tuck up area of the dog. Again, you cannot see it with that black fur, just covering it up. This skin is so easily nicked if we're not mindful of it and very, very careful about where we're clipping. 
So I'm lifting the leg here and I'm always making sure that my 10 blade is nice and flush. And if you notice, I'm doing it in small strokes so I can kind of get a feeling of where I'm at. Better to finesse these areas as opposed to just kind of going at it and trying to get it all done with one stroke. And you can see how dark it is underneath this dark coat. You can barely see anything. Please excuse my dumbfounded face coming in through the leg area. I wasn't intending to be on camera. Again, just finessing the area, small strokes. Sometimes I'll have Anthony shine his phone light underneath so that I can see better. But for the purpose of the video, we just wanted to show you how difficult it is to see underneath these darker coats. Okay guys, so that's going to do it for this video. We really just wanted to show you a couple of the challenges of working on a darker coat. If you take anything away from this video, just be mindful of the blade you're using. You definitely only want to use a 10 blade in these areas. Work cautiously and slowly to avoid any nicking. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button if you want to see more videos like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our weekly content. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.